Hello viewers, Ramadan Mubarak. You are welcome back once again. It's Ramadan day two and you are welcome to this program. I don't think I'm ready for this marriage. That is what a friend responded when I asked him some questions. Because he came to me telling me he's planning to do his wedding. And I told him I have like 10 questions to ask, ask you. If you're able to answer all the 10 questions, then you are ready for the wedding. Most of the questions, he can only respond to two. So the same thing applies to each and every watch, body watching. Mm -hmm. If you are not able to answer these 10 questions, or you are not able to answer more than average of this question, then you are not ready. But if you have, a, uh, uh, you have an answer to each of these 10 questions, then probably you are ready for the wedding. Number one on my list is if you are getting married soon, why do you want to get married? Why do you want to start? That is the question I'm asking you. Why do you want to start? Do you want to start just because it is time to start? Do you want to start because you get someone pregnant accidentally? Do you want to get married because someone just said she is ready or is ready and you are not? Why do you want to start a family? Why? If you are able to answer that question sincerely, then you are ready. That is number one. Number two on my list is, are you being pressurized? Is it that someone forced you? to go and get married you know some parents they will say you are getting old and they cannot live with you in their home anymore they just want you to go to your husband place are you being pressurized that's another question if you are being pressurized and you think you just have to go to anybody's house just like that even if that person is not ready that's that would be a problem that would be an outcome the outcome will never be good so you have to make sure you are ready and you have to be sure that you are not being pressurized by anybody to start a family that is number two number three is do you know your career will change your life will change everything will change if you get married it will surely change you will never be the same person again are you ready for those changes do you have answers to, to this question I'm asking you? Because it would change. The way you think would change. You cannot even decide on your own anymore. You have to ask your spouse for opinions before you do anything. You can't just do anything on your own anymore because in marriage, two, one plus one is one. That is the third question. Your career will surely change. Number four question. Are you financially ready? Are you financially ready? Because in my country, in Yoruba land, they will say, Ati, ati be ya It means marrying is not the problem, but to finance the marriage, it what is most important. Are you financially ready? Are you? Because you can't just... Um, marry and allow your family to suffer no you have to take good care of your family as a man and as a woman you have to support your husband are you financially ready is your income stable how much do you earn you don't just have to do it because if you fail to plan it means you are planning to fail so never fail in your marriage i want you to be a successful one so for you to go into that union you have to ask yourself, am I ready financially? If you can answer that question, then you are ready. And that makes the number four of the question I'm asking. Number five on my list, accommodation time. Do you think you can accommodate your spouse? Is there somewhere you can call your abode? Is there? If there is. Then you are ready. If there's no place to come aboard, 
then you are not because you have to be ready and that's maintain the fifth spot on my list number six is how strong is your relationship how strong because people will come between you and the one you said you love if your relationship with him or her is not strong things will go sour in a very little time so how strong is your relationship with him or with him if it's not strong you have to find something to do which you can't just marry out of pity like i just don't know i just want to do it for sake of doing it no how strong is it on the scale of 100 percent is it 100 percent because loyalty should be 100 nothing less if it's lesser then there's nothing your relationship should be 100 percent strong anything less is a failure so if you are not sure about how strong your relationship is then you're not ready i think number seven on my list is are you ready to change your lifestyle are you ready if you are a night crawler or a night owl you might not be able to do it anymore because you have a family to cater for if you are someone that used to stay on the phone for a very long time you won't be able to do it anymore because your spouse deserve your time as well ask yourself a lot of things will change during the time you're a bachelor that would be how you do things who you hang out with where you go the kind of food you eat when you eat how you sleep and where you keep your stuff when you are now living with someone everything will surely change are you ready for that change that may maintain the seventh spot in the question i listed for anybody who is aspiring or getting ready to get married are you ready for that change because it's a big change in your life if you are not ready you better think twice number eight on the list is are you considering what if you have twins if you have twins it would disturb your work it would disturb your sleep what if your husband is not around to assist you? Do you think about that as well? I'm not trying to scare you off or anything, but I'm trying to let you know what you are aimed for. If you don't think about it, better think about it now. And it's better to plan than never to plan. And that maintains the number eight position on my list. And number nine is, are you pleased with his tribe? You know, back in the days, I hear people were saying, I can't marry from this tribe. You cannot marry from this tribe. This tribe has so, so, so. This tribe has so, so, so. Are you pleased with his tribe? Let your people know the tribe you are marrying from. Convince them if you have to. I wouldn't like you to go halfway and now start complaining about his tribe. So if you're okay with his tribe, you can go ahead. But if you're not okay with it, wish, I don't encourage. Love knows no tribe. And love knows no color. If you truly love him, you love his tribe. And that maintains the number nine position on my list. And the light one, number 10 is do you know it's not easy do you know do you know it's not easy yeah marriage it's not easy it is something it's just like a new institution you are going into it's not easy you have to be ready you have to be ready for everything because some people will say it's black market i don't think it's black market if you are ready for it then you go for it pray with your spouse all the time because things will change when you eventually get married not only for you but for your partner as well things will change everything will change and you have to go with that change when you love each other you will do things together and everything will be fine these are the 10 questions 
I have for you, whoever is trying to get married anytime soon. If you are able to answer all these questions or you dissect them in the right way, then you are ready. If you cannot, my friend, you are not ready. Thanks for watching. If you are new, if you are new on this channel, I want you to subscribe. Give me thumb ups and I want to see your comments. If you have any question, we can discuss it together in the next video. Thanks for watching and God bless. Bye for now.